What's the core? The core for our purposes is going to be everything from the bottom of the ribs here down to your pubic bone here. So if we take a look, what we're talking about here is everything really from here down to here and around. So in the front, we have abdominal muscles and the abdominal muscles are in a couple of layers. The deep layer is known as the transverse abdominus. And so when we look at the transverse abdominus, when we flex that, it's going to cause an abdominal hollowing like that. If you can see, I'll turn when we engage the transverse abdominus, we get an abdominal hollowing. So I think you can see that. And then when we engage the rectus abdominus, so the transverse abdominus goes across for our flat muscle, and then the rectus abdominus is in the front. So when we engage the rectus abdominus, then you can see in the front. Let's try that this way. And when we do the rectus abdominus, you can see it gets flat. So that's the stomach muscles. Then we have the back muscles. We've got multifidus. We've got rector spinae, and they connect on the sides. Oh, I almost forgot. We've got the obliques. So the obliques are right in through here, and they do rotation. So when we do rotation, that's using those abdominal obliques. Or is a closed cylinder. It's not an open cylinder. So it's got a roof and a floor, or a top and a bottom. The top of the cylinder is the diaphragm. It goes from the ribs in the front to the spine in the back. And then on the bottom, we have the pelvic floor, also known as the Kegel muscles. And the pelvic floor goes from the pubic bone here. The pelvic floor goes from the pubic bone here to the tailbone here. If we look at it this way, it's the pubic bone here to the tailbone here. And it's broad, flat, strapping muscles along the bottom there as well. And those are pubal coccygeus and levator ani. So we had transverse abdominus for hollowing. We had rectus abdominus for flexing. We had abdominal obliques for rotation. And then that connects on the side to the back muscles. And on the back, we've got multifidus and erector spinae. One more time, a quick review of the core. Abdominal muscles in the front, back muscles in the back, making a big tube. Then we've got broad, flat diaphragm on top, broad, flat pelvic floor on the bottom. So I think that sums it up.